Welcome to Living Life in the End for the woman who is set on getting everything she effing deserves. I am your host, Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes, your best life transformation strategist. I help women to get everything they desire and deserve in life by equipping them with powerful strategies for immediate implementation to achieve fulfillment. Because life is too long to live unfulfilled. It's time. Girl, it's time. It's time for you to get everything, everything you desire and deserve. It's time for you to live your life on purpose and to live a life of fulfillment, meaning, and joy. It's time. It's time for you to walk boldly in the power of your decisions. Because girl, if you're going to be in this world, you need to be fulfilled in this life. Life is too long to live unfulfilled. Join me for another episode of Living Life in the End, where you learn how to achieve fulfillment and commit to completing all the desires of your heart. Hey, it's time for Musing from the Mind of Dr. S.D.D., where I share poignant thoughts to help you live your life. Girl, I've got something on my mind. You know, focus is a crucial element of fulfillment. Because the truth is, what you look for is what you see. And if we are not intentional, our focus will be held captive by the world around us. We get caught up in the shiny things. We get ensnared by the trappings of success. We get swept up in the whirlwind of influences, influencers, and images that tell us we are not enough. We need to stop focusing on the distractions and start focusing on what we deserve. You ain't missing out on anything that is robbing you of fulfillment. Many times we think we're missing out. We think that because we see someone else doing something or someone else is doing something that we are missing out. But here's the thing. Comparison is the thief of joy. That is one of the most sage statements I have ever heard. I remember myself being consumed with comparison. Everybody else was happy. Why can't I be happy? I was sitting on the sidelines watching everybody else experience joy. And while doing that, I was missing out on mine. I was missing out on me. It is not, it is so easy, rather, to be distracted by watching others rather than watching how we can accomplish what we desire. You know, many times what we envy isn't even real. We are envious of pretty images that are not backed by substance or truth. Most of what we envy is not ours. To envy. Whether it is real or not, one thing you must know, it is not what God has for us. Now, don't get me wrong. I love seeing people's joy. I love celebrating other people's success. I love seeing other people thrive. I'm all for it. I just had to realize that I could not get lost in the sauce of comparison because the truth is we often see the outcome and don't get a glimpse of the work the sacrifice and the time that it took for these other people's success to materialize we must not lose focus on this truth what is for us is for us 
period. It will happen on its own time. But it won't ever happen if we're focused on doing, if we're not focused on doing what needs to be done to make it happen because we are focused on what somebody else is happening is happening. Better put, we will not achieve what we desire and deserve until we allow it to materialize. Remember Lot's wife. That is one of the realest things Jesus ever said. So many times, you know, we are like Lot's wife. We're looking back and salty. You know, I got trapped in the salt of the life I once had. I kept trying to get it back. And I realized one day that I literally had been creating the, quote, life I once had since 2015, in every space I've lived since leaving my beautiful custom home in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. I love that house. I designed every part of it, every piece of it. It had all of the things that I love. And ever since I've left that space, I have been trying to recreate that space in new spaces. And the truth is, that space is no longer my space. And this year, this year, I have begun getting rid of things that were old memories in new spaces. It's time to look at the life ahead of me and stop being salty about the life I left behind. Because here's the truth. When you are constantly looking at the past, you will never be able to focus fully on your future. Earlier this year, I also made the decision to create new patterns, to do new things, attend new events, and meet new people. I made a conscious decision to stop going into the old spaces of my old life. I realized that when I did so, I was flooded by the memories of my old life. It lingered around me like a ghost. It haunted me and made me feel heavy when I should have been feeling light. I found that I never really fully enjoyed myself when I was in those old spaces because the old memories kept getting in the way. And so I decided to stop going. Ain't no shame on anybody that's in those old spaces, but this is a new me. I remain connected to the people that I love and the people that love me, but I decided that the new me needed to untie the strings to my past. And for now, I need to focus on where I'm going, not where I've been. I have to cut back on the salt. A little salt can enhance the savor of life, but too much salt can spoil the pleasure and ruin the feast. I am ready for all the flavor from experience of the life I have now and the life I am creating. He is creating in me a new thing. What you look for is what you see. And what I know for sure is this. We must have a vision for what's possible. Every day, every day I focus on the blessings that the new day will bring. I literally visualize what I desire to do and the outcome I desire. Even when shit gets crazy. I choose to focus on what I desire to achieve. And you know, the most powerful question that shapes my vision is how. How? How can I? When I am faced with obstacles or 
things aren't going as I desire, I set my vision on how. And when I set my vision on how, I begin to see solutions. I begin to see completion. I begin to see what is possible. We must train our focus to only see how. Well, that's all I have to say about that. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you for joining me for another musing from the mind of Dr. SDB, where I share poignant thoughts to help you live your life in the end. I hope you learned something. I hope you felt something. But most of all, girl, I hope you do something. Fulfillment won't happen because you desire it. Fulfillment will happen because you decide to go get it. Let's get it. Hey, this is your girl, Dr. Stephanie D. Barnes. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Living Life in the End for the woman who is set on getting everything she effing deserves. I hope you learned something, felt something, but most of all, girl, I hope you are ready to do something. Please be sure to let me know what you got out of this episode. Please subscribe so that you don't miss out on another great conversation. And of course, I'd love it if you would give us a rating and review and let me know how you are living life in the end. Because remember, Life is too long to live unfulfilled. Your life is the product of your choices. Choose to commit to bringing the desires of your heart to completion. Let's get everything we deserve. Girl, let's get it.